Yeah, uh, you know, in hindsight, uh, didn't work. So anytime something doesn't work, you want it back. Uh, we've been talking to the kids about being aggressive and attacking this thing for weeks, and I think they did that. Um, part of it was we had we had a couple things that we wanted to be aggressive on. We had one earlier that we wanted to see if we got the look we wanted, and we we got a look that was really good for it. And uh, I made that call, so that's on me. Um, you know, at the at that point in the game, I thought all the momentum was on our side. I thought if we got it, we could end the game. Um, and it, the way we were playing, uh, you know, I I felt at that point like uh, like we had a really good chance of winning the game, and I felt like maybe we were the better team. And you know, I, you, you can't really foresee them scoring 14 straight uh, and us sputtering after we'd played well to start the second half on offense so again those are excuses if i had it over i wouldn't make the call they did a good job with scheme stuff uh we gave up a a, a pass we shouldn't have given up against unbalanced that we we just busted uh you got to give them a lot of credit uh, that's a team that we handled last year um thought we won the match physically last year we didn't win it today and um, I'm surprised by that because what I've seen from the guys in training camp and leading up to the season um, I think we got a good team we didn't get it done today I feel terrible for the guys well it's not gonna be one message it's gonna have to be several um, we've just lost too many close games and um, <laughs> You know, these guys need something to believe in, and we need to believe in ourselves as a team. I think they do. Um, I don't think there's a guy in our locker room didn't think we were going to come win this game today, and uh, I'm sure they'll think the same thing next week. Coach, at, uh, it's seven losses in a row now. What, uh, what concerns do you have, if any, about your own future with you? Well, you got to win in this business to keep your job. That's the way it is. Um, I love Nebraska. I love the state of Nebraska. I love these fans that sacrificed to come over here. I want to thank them. Um, the guys, the coaches, they did everything the right way leading up to this. Uh, I wouldn't change a thing about the way we handled the travel. Uh, the kids were dialed in. Um, I give Northwestern a lot of credit. Again, they, they were more physical than us, I, I thought, up front at times today. Um, probably more than than we were and that was probably the difference and um we got to get this turned around i don't know if there was a big difference but you know we certainly we certainly didn't dominate and um again i give their staff a lot of credit too there were some scheme things that they hit us on on offense um i think we're gonna have to learn as an offensive staff that uh, you got to be a little creative in this league. Um, so we, we have some things that we can work on. That we did a lot of good things, but it's got to be more of a, um, a complete game. Yeah, we did. That's been a good competition all, all camp. Uh, we played the guys that we thought had the best camp and, and really week leading up to this game. Um, I think it would have been a different kind of game. We'd have gotten more guys in, uh, but it wasn't. What did you think of Casey making his first start at quarterback with the program? Is good? Obviously, the defense did. Yeah, you know, he did a lot of really good things again. But, you know, the, the good thing about having some new guys is we added a lot of talent to the team, Casey being one of them. Um, there's a learning curve in this league, and, you know, I've gone through it. Um, you, you just can't be negative one in turnovers and make a bad decision as a head coach on an onside kick and uh, give up a, a cheap one. The, these games are all decided by two or three plays, and there's going to be nine more of them this year like that, and, and we have to make sure we're on the right side of those plays. What was the difference, oh, what was the difference uh, first two and a half quarters, Casey, last quarter and a half? And I know some of that wasn't him at all, but what was the difference in the passing? You know, I don't know if there was a difference with the quarterback. Uh, we lost Travis Vokalek for the game. That that uh, 
that hurt us a little bit on a couple of them. Uh, we got to make sure we get them in the right stuff. Uh, again, you, you know, this is, this is the type of game we're going to be in where you only get so many drives, uh, and you got to take advantage of them. And two turnovers hurt. You know, I think we were up 11 twice in the game and gave up the lead, which we can't do on defense, and we got to score when we're needed to on offense. Uh, I didn't think we tackled great in the in open space. Um, I think when it was in the box, it was fine. Uh, th that's my impression without watching it on tape. So, um, we missed a couple out in space that, that we can't miss. And, and we're going to play guys that are just as talented or more talented uh, down the road. Uh, I thought their backs ran great. Uh, I thought they did a good job making one more cut and getting extra yards. Uh, but we certainly had opportunity to make more plays than we did. Yeah, he's a better athlete than people think. Um, you know, he came out on fire, and um, we just didn't create any of those big plays when we needed to down the stretch. But, uh, we, you know, we can't put ourselves in that situation. You know, um, I'll take seven of it for making the onside kick decision. You don't win a lot of games in the Big Ten giving up 31. So we have some things to answer on. On defense, if you can score 31, you usually win games, and we didn't on offense, so we have some things to look at there as well. Culture, uh, leadership, um, which is the best we've had. These guys need to do it for each other, and they will. We got a really tight team. Um, I, again, I can't say enough about how they approach this game. Um, the travel over, everything that they did. Uh, this is a tight group, the tightest group we've had, and uh, they're going to have to lean on that after a disappointing start. How did you adjust him not calling the offensive plays yourself? It's tough for me. You know, uh, I've said this, there's no one way to do things. Um, but I think uh, I think we can cooperate and a little bit more. Um, you know, the, the, probably the big the thing that hurt our offense is when we got in in situations where we were just uh, running the ball. Um, we didn't we weren't efficient enough. And um, when you gain yards on those plays, it gives you more opportunities to run the stuff that that you think could hit big. Coach, coach, sorry, last question. No, absolutely not. Um, I love Nebraska. I'm going to fight, fight with the guys uh, as long as I can fight.